What's going on guys? This is Martyrs Brigade 99 coming at you once again with more Dark Souls PvP. Today, I wanted to make a little bit of a case for quality builds at meta level. Now, it's not hard to make a quality build once you start pushing level 150 and further because you stop having this issue of getting all the stats that you want. But after the multiple buffs that they received from the DLC, I think that quality builds, while not the most optimal in terms of damage, they're usually a little bit behind heavy if you're, say, two-handing a quality weapon, or it's going to be a little bit lower than a dexterity build if you're using lightning. It's the only build that can combine all of these different aspects so cleanly. So if you're wearing the Millicent's prosthesis and reaching 40 plus dexterity, uh, the lightning damage is going to be very comparable to a dexterity build. And what refined builds get that dex builds generally don't at this level is access to lightning weapons that are really heavy. So lightning gugs, that right there is storm stomp. I'm going to change this to lightning strike because it has a pretty much one shot true combo. Um, super powerful on lightning. As you guys know, lightning is the best damage type in the game. But whereas... You don't get this ability on a dexterity build. You can go from a lightning damage weapon and go to something that, say, has flaming strike and do a lot more damage with that in comparison to a dexterity build, right? And then also, there are a ton of weapons that, when cold, poison, or bleed infused, have a very good quality scaling. Now, it's case by case. If at a baseline a weapon has a higher strength scaling, Cold is going to make the strength scaling better, but not really so much the deck scaling. Just as an example, say like the Warped Axe. So it does depend on the weapon. This is an example of one that does get C in strength and C in dexterity. Another fantastic thing about quality builds is, once again, the access to the Grafted Blade. I know I'm a bit of a Grafted Blade salesman, but if there's one build that gets the most value from this weapon at meta level, it's a quality build because you have all of these different stats that you're trying to fill out. Now the last thing before we get into the invasions, I know I have 40 endurance, I know it's on almost every single build I make, and I know that most people think that that is overkill, but the reason why I love running 40 dexterity, <laughs> dexterity, endurance I mean, is that it does a couple things. One, you get to wear extremely heavy armor without a reliance on, say, these two talismans right here right? You can wear heavy stuff and still medium roll, even if you don't have these on. You can also light load roll with medium armor, which I know light load is cringe. I get it. But you know what? A lot of people who play this game are cringe, so you can you can anti-cringe them sometimes, and it'll, it'll be a little bit okay, you know what I'm saying? And then also, it does give you a gigantic uh, stamina bar to just click buttons for infinitum. So, it is... If I were to make this more optimal, that endurance would probably go down to 30, and then just fill out the rest of, say, Vigor, and then a little more into Strength and Dex. But this is this is my build, what can I say? I like it. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the Invasionos. This first invasion's a really good one, actually. These guys did not have to entertain me to a fight, but they did rather than going through the boss fog, which is very Chad behavior for PvEers. Oh, they're gonna boss fog me. Here's a perfect example of why you should have the Xamor Curve Sword on every single build. <laughs> yes! Yes! How did that break his poise, but not an Uggs? Now that I look at it... Oh, I didn't even realize I didn't even use this.
Is that the small version of the... I think that's the straight sword version of that. I rolled. Something really nice about this inventory I made is being able to swap from power stance straight swords to howl axe extremely quickly. That's good, actually. This scrap that you're about to see here would only have been possible with 40 endurance. I can't believe that didn't trade. He Goomba stomped me! What the fuck? You can't be serious. We need Endure. Did you guys just see that? Yo, Lyro, how you doing? GG's. God damn, that was a hard-fought invasion. They didn't really know what they were doing. They were willing to fight despite the boss being there. Gotta respect it. No, no, they they actually were Chad-like. That that team, they were, uh, that was very Chad pve or behavior. They chose to fight us over boss-fogging us. Gotta respect it. I wanna see if I can see them before we get close. Blasphemous Blade, Twin Blades Bleed, okay. Then we will do this. We'll do this bit here. The Milady does some serious damage on quality. We're about to tear these guys up with this thing. What the fuck are you yapping about, bro? True combo. I mainly wanted that guy gone. Guy gone. Oh, no backstab. Oh, I ran out of stam. Damn, this fucking quality milady hits hard. God damn. GG's.
in? How the fuck did you die? Whoops. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, this thing kind of does good damage, too. That you, Jesus. Now, as we all know, the true strongest quality weapon in the whole game is a good old-fashioned torch. The ones that Lita gave you. Oh my god, we're getting boss fogged again. Amazing. Impress Desi. Galaxine, how you doing? For some reason, us pulling the torch out seems to pull out all the people that are wearing the dancer dress, moon veil, and have a waifu. I don't know why. <laughs> We're never catching a light roller doing this. <laughs> I literally did the perfect block! Fuck you, game! I just perfect blocked it twice and he rolled out. Uh oh. He mixed me up. You know what? Giga Chad here's going bye bye. Why is everybody lagging? God, that R2 is so much faster now. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> yo! <laughs> Torch more powerful than Moonveil? <laughs> burn, baby, burn. <laughs> <laughs> Red main soldier ass kill, true. <laughs> Amazing. Bro, I perfect blocked Moonveil twice, bro. Give me my fucking flowers. Give me my flowers. Due to him fucking lagging, we didn't get the backstab, but I fucking perfect blocked Moonveil with a torch twice. Torch way over ass veil? That's right. That is right, my brother. Well, aren't you a cute little waifu? I bet you're a mage. Hi. Here, let me light the way for you. <laughs> Come on! These dense motherfuckers, bro. Over here, Brody. I don't know what possesses a host to make so little sense as this one, but here we go. No. No. Bro, you're so fucking beta coded, bro. How are you so stupid? <laughs> this person's actually six years old. Attack the fucking wall, bro. Over there. 
This is the dumbest host of all time. Over there. Over there. Yo, Vash, what's up? You are so clueless. <laughs> you can't parry those, that's right. <laughs> I can't see Shoot! <laughs> Not a parry. Just, just go home, bro. Two hundred and thirty. Oh my gosh, bro. What is this, bro? Like, just as an example of how much of a shitty monkey this build can be, I welcome you to Sergeant Shitter. Let's see all these buffs stacked together. Four, sixty-four physical defense. Come here, Kevin. Curve sword is strong. Yeah, it's pretty strong. I missed by the hair of his pubic face. Goodbye. What if I just fell to my death right there? <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Kevin. Your time has come. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Am I a bad person for that? <laughs> you, Zamor. Light roll. Whatever, fuck you. Nice play, bro. Oh, I missed. Fuck. Oh! Nice latency. Oh my god, that latency is fucking disgusting. And they're getting hunters. Pussy, pussy men's.
How much fucking mind do you have? Jesus Christ. Let's actually swap to this. Oh my god. This is so cancer. Get fucking destroyed, you fucking dumbass. Needless to say, I was feeling a little miffed with this one. Come here, pussy mans. Crazy. Where'd he go? And he has 300 HP. Amazing. Next up, we get one of the worst places to get an invasion in the entire game. Is that a whip? Wait, there's a third. I heard somebody. You hear that? There's someone else, too. That true combo to this game is garbage, Corva much. Get cooked. GG's. <laughs> Such a good impression, thank you. Don't walk in. Again. Again. Fuck. <laughs> oh, he's got it too. Fuck. <laughs> Let's Zamor him up. Oh, short ass weapon. No, why would I do that? God, curved great swords are just like so easy. Even the worst ones. <laughs> Bro. I used to pivot like three times every fight. I've had like two pivots this stream. I don't know why, but for me, uh, me personally, pivoting is the thing for me. I don't know why. You probably smell like death blight. No, I don't. I smell like fucking roses. Bro smells like Godwin. You know, actually, chat, how, how crazy of an ability would it be to just stand in public and people that are within, like, a five-foot radius of you uh, are just, like building up death blight in real life and they just fucking die instantly after like 20 seconds of being around you what is it with everybody being a kevin what is it with everybody using this godforsaken helmet and armor I did not press the jump button right there. What the fuck was that? <laughs> well, that works. This defense buff, now that I think about it, it's been really good. Come here. Didn't expect that. Okay, just... Flat out not in range, okay. God damn. Agnostic Monkey, I just realized his name. <laughs> oh, are we about to have a shitter fest? <laughs> it's so scary looking. Hang on, let's swap to Claymore.
No! I rolled. Come on now, game. <laughs> After killing this blue, we're gonna find out how much of a shitty monkey we were dealing with in this invasion. What you running for, homie? Damn, don't have too much roll discipline. I want my backstab bowl. Nice range. You know what? Fuck you. I don't give a fuck about your lat range. I'm just gonna run at you and press it buttons. I wanna get this going. It's crazy how much lat saves players, truly. I'm regening my HP, brother. My HP. My HP. Thank you for waiting. Now die. Where's the host at? I think you overestimate how good that... that is. Thank you, teammate. <laughs> what is this motherfucker doing, bro? Okay, the host is hidden around here somewhere. We're gonna have to start breaking shit. He might be hiding down in the tunnel. We're just checking up here before we dedicate to something so dangerous. Does my teammate... Teammate's retarded. Okay. I feel like this is a pata moment. I feel like whatever we've got going on is a pata moment. Let's just get ourselves nice and prepared beforehand. I think I heard footsteps. Would you look at that? What do we have that could hit him? Volcano pots? Hang on. Gonna have to waste a couple. Now it comes down to trying to line up the perfect shot. Well, would you look at that? Get your ass down! Where are you going? Dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this next clip is a perfect example of the hackers that run rampant at meta level 125. Heavy armor gogs and blues. Okay. Oh, wait. Is it a hacker? Is there a way to not have the bloody finger on your square by default? Have all ten of your slots taken up with something. That's how. I hear moon. The dark moon. Oh. 
Oh, they're down. <laughs> oh, that was almost a strike. Nice one, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. How no parry? Why? <laughs> Scoob actual. How? Literally pass straight through him? Oh, you little cock. Get... And with that, that'll be it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed this little project before the pot of video. I'm working on it right now, and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Peace.